Hi everyone, welcome to Highly Addictive. First episode, so to say, under the new name. Um, no, I have not become a sneaker customizer. It's just the idea that I had um, because I've seen the spoof pictures of the ASIC Gel My Sneaker Freaker in purple and I liked it so much um, that I decided to paint these. Uh, this is the OG colorway black and blue here. Uh, it's not that I don't like the color because I like purple a lot more. I got some info in, in on the internet and by some people of what to look out for. I'm, I'm just gonna try it. Uh, I'm not gonna give you a full tutorial on this and how to paint shoes with Angel's paint because that's not my job and I'm, I'm I, actually I suck at this probably. I might suck at this. I, I don't know how how this is gonna turn out. I am uh, a hand uh, handcraft gifted person if you want to call it that way but I've never painted shoes before. I tried it on on, on a different pair of shoes how it, how the, the paint is flowing and everything but uh, I'm not sure about the outcome. Uh, I did, I think, I did do a good job on preparation of the shoe. I taped off the midsole and white areas of the shoe. And so if I paint, uh, if I spill some paint, that's not gonna be all too, too bad. And uh, I, yeah, let's get started and see how it turns out. That's what it looks like now. <laughs> Who knows how it's gonna look later on? Uh, I'll be gonna not gonna be complete trash. So, uh, um, good luck. <laughs> okay. Okay, daytime. It's not as purple or as uh, vibrant purple as I thought it would t turn out to be. If you look at the original color, it still looks blue on camera. <laughs> It looks a lot more purple in, in person. Um, that's the blue on the inside, and that's the color on the outside. Still looks blue um, on film. It's completely purple in person, but it's not as vibrant. Let me just get the. Uh... Nothing anywhere. <laughs> Oh, camera, it's hard to capture that color. Um, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be putting on a, another layer or if I'm gonna keep it that way. Let's see if I can change the angle a little, but move it more to. Well, I think I will unwrap this uh, the shoe. I started doing that already. It still looks blue on camera. You can see a little, a little bit of the shine if the if the light hits it a little, a little bit different um, than it's purple. Uh, I think I'm gonna put up a light here so I can see this a little bit better. There now, I think it, it looks more purple. It's a different filter on the on the on the on the light. Tipped it off completely so it wouldn't get any a paint on the sole. If you're working on it, whatever you can avoid to spill on a shoe, try to avoid it. Prep work is probably, in what I've learned from my experience with stuff like that, the most important thing that you can do for good or for great results. So if you're lazy ass and want to save some time, it's going to ruin the, the final product eventually. Uh, there's a little bit of paint on the white 
midsole. Might have to touch it up a little bit with a white. This one's like paint. I especially bought some because I was expecting this a little at least. Uh, there's some more, but nothing tragic. I think all in all, I did a great job taping this off. If you can, right there, there's some and something on here and something under here uh, not too tragic all oh, and something here um, maybe some water might help you take a q-tip or something similar and try to wipe it off take the brush maybe even and just get it off of it Yeah, so uh, not completing them because of the of the midsole of the touch up here, but all in all, if I put this a little bit brighter, I don't know. Uh, it looks more blue if it's when it's more bright. I think all in all, pretty good job. I still have to um, to heat it up a little bit the paint so it will stay uh, soft. I used a one to one ratio of paint and. And that softener, as good as my measurement abilities are, or as bad. So, um, let's see well, how it will be in the end. But I, I like it. I don't think I fucked it up. I think I did a great job for first time <laughs> painting mesh. So, uh, I'm going to wrap the other one as well. But I don't think I have to tape that because it's just going to be the same thing. I'm going to show you the, the final result then once this is all dry and done. Okay, this is what they actually look like in person. Um, I adjusted some camera settings and that brings out the purple much better. Um, I think they turned out pretty good actually for a first time job. And um, not sure how these are going to hold up over time, especially in rain or something. So, long term experience is going to be interesting. Um, nevertheless, we see. Uh, they're all laced up and ready to go on feet, just for a very quick on foot video. I have already shown the gel my before, so I don't want to bore you with it too much. And uh, if you like my channel, subscribe. If you like this video, hit thumbs up or leave a comment. And um, I hope we're going to see you next time. So thanks for watching. Until next time, bye bye.